One of the first botanical highlights this summer is this pictorial annual meadow. It's packed with annuals that are flowering right from July up to the first frost in succession, colourful and the pollinators love it too. So another summer highlight is the rock garden. It's a microcosm of the world with over 5,000 different species of plants from uh, Arctic to Mediterranean to desert alpine regions of the world. Specialist plants like this diorama, Angel's Fishing Rod, which comes from South Africa. So another seasonal highlight in the garden this summer is the rain garden. And we have put this into an area that used to flood. We've worked with Heriot Watt University and the Water Academy. And this is to understand how we're going to cope with climate change and adapt for the future. We've used plants like a sponge to absorb that moisture, but we never water the rain garden. So these plants in this study have to be able to cope with drought and intense flooding as well. So it's really interesting to see what is adapting. It is particularly important with climate change. We've had such a dry summer and it's a great way to understand and study how we're going to go forward with our planting design for the future. We want visitors to come to the rain garden and be inspired that don't tarmac over or cement your front garden or use astroturf. Plants are the solution to mitigate flooding for the future. So another seasonal highlight herbaceous border is 165 metres long and has the backdrop of this 110 year old beech hedge. It's a riot of colour and has been designed in a rainbow spectrum. So these herbaceous perennials start as hot red colours in the middle and then move out to cool blues at the end. It's a beautiful display through July and August so please come and check it out.